Hi, my name's Tony. I've been teaching in Hastings for two years. Um, I would like to teach abroad at some point, but not just yet. Um, I absolutely love teaching. Uh, I love meeting people from all over the world. Um, and it's just a lot of fun. Good afternoon, class. Hello. Yeah, How are you? How are you feeling? Good. Good. As for me, I had some news today. How am I feeling? Yeah. How am I feeling? Sad. 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 Disappointed. Sad. But I had some other news today as well. How do I feel about that? <laughs> happy, happy, satisfied, yeah. proud. Okay, two different bits of news, yeah. two different feelings. Yeah, what was, what were the sort of first feelings about? Bad news. Bad news. Bad news. Negative. Bad news. Yeah. Bad news. Second sets of feelings. Positive. Positive. Brilliant. Okay. Okay, any more words? Any more words? I've got some uh, strips of paper with some sentences on. I'm going to give each group uh, some of these strips. Can you try to separate them into two groups? Positive and negative. Okay. Okay, easy or difficult? Easy. 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 Why was it easy? We can guess. Okay, how, how could you guess? Because of some words. Some, some key words. words. Yes. Okay, what were the key words? Up, 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 low, up, right, low, low down. down. Down, Down. Deep. 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 lift, depth, OK. Okay, so what can we say, OK? What can we say? Uh, in English, feeling happy is like being... Up, 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 up. up. Yeah. going up. OK, or going up, going up. yeah, being lifted, yeah. OK? And in English, being sad is like being... Down. 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 What I'm going to do now, <laughs> I'll give you... A quick gap fill, okay? Okay, okay? You've got the same expressions here. You've got some different mini dialogues. Okay. All right. Can you try and fit the expressions into the mini dialogues? Yeah, okay. Okay. Cool, right? I think so. Looking up to Maybe. Two dips and two second word dips. My sing spring flows. That's one time with two. One time. Okay, so let's just check the answers together then. Okay, Zhao, number one, please. Did you hear the announcement? We're not going to lose our jobs after all. Yes, I heard about it yesterday. The news really lifted my spirits. Okay, right or wrong? Right. Good or bad? Right. 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 Intonation, was that good? Yes. Yeah, really lifted my spirits. Well done. Okay. All right, who'd like to do the last one? Esther? Things are looking up today. I finally managed to finish all my work yesterday, and now I can have that long weekend in Italy. Yeah, it's amazing what a difference a day makes, isn't it? Perfect. Well done. Yeah. Okay. So let's be a bit personal now. Okay. Are there, have there been times when you've been very sad or really happy? Yeah. Can you would you like to tell the class about any of those occasions? Who's got a story to tell? Uh, I think 
that was ha that happened in this June, in June, and one day my headmaster came to me and said to me, and that um, okay, we decide to um, to send a teacher to England and to learn English, and we decided that it's you. <laughs> okay, so uh, I. I felt that I was working on the air after that news, so Fantastic. I was really, really cheerful that time. Are you still walking on air? Mm. Uh, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, has anyone, anyone got a, any other experiences, happy or sad? Yeah, Maria. When I received the letter that they said to me I could go uh, to the university that I had chose before, I chosen. I was really this news, really lifts my spirits for for not one day for oh, one, fantastic. one week. Yes, I really I I can feel yet the the feelings that I Good. I had when I received that. Brilliant. Congratulations. Okay. Okay. So let me choose one here. Hang on a second. Well, I'm going to start feeling quite down now because that's the end of the lesson. Okay. Cut! <laughs>What was your objective for this lesson? The objective was uh, to introduce uh, metaphorical language uh, to the class. Obviously, we discuss metaphorical language uh, in the class, but it's usually as a as a by the by. But this was to actually focus specifically on that. Um, how long had you known that group? Yeah, for about five five months. What's the difference between teaching a group you've known for a long time and teaching a group you've only just met? Um, well, there are big differences. Uh, a class that you've had for a long time uh, understand how you work. That they know what you're going to do or, uh, or what certain signals mean. Uh, with a new class, expressions and body language can sometimes be confusing. But as soon as they've understood what you mean, what you're trying to do, what you're trying to get at, it's fine, yeah. But it, 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 takes, a bit of, uh, it takes a bit of getting used to. Um, but, but also the rapport, rapport in the classes. Uh, you, you need to build up uh, trust with your students and that, that can't just happen straight away. You know, I think they they trust you once they've seen that you're you're on their side and you're, and you're working with them, not against them. Why why is rapport important? I think rapport is extremely important because I think a, a class has to enjoy their lessons, and they have to enjoy working not just with the teacher but with together, uh, students with students. Um, and I've had classes before um, where rapport has been really poor um, and it's reflected in, in, the whole, in the whole lesson. So I always ma make it a priority to build up rapport as quickly, as soon as possible. How did you follow this lesson up? Did it, did it lead on to anything else or was it a one-off? What we uh, did uh, subsequently uh, was um, we uh, went to the library, uh, got them all to choose uh, some readers obviously some good advanced readers um, and obviously gave them a name while reading which, to pick out similar language to the language that we'd looked at in the lesson um, obviously gave them a week to read the books uh, and then we had we had a discussion a week later with them basically uh, just throwing up all the language that they came across and just uh, had an in-depth discussion on that.